I am focusing on the stocks that people forgot about, the stocks that people don't care about, and the stocks that have the most edge. The moment LY, oh shit. So that's MKGN right there. So right there, guys, a $5,000 trade. That doesn't really take much size. So if you guys see anything bouncing, let me know. NKGN is bouncing a little bit. I pull up NKGN. Wow. Big fail. So because this failed at VWAP, I'm gonna see if I can get a bounce opportunity on it potentially. Let's see. I got started there at 214 on NKGN. Because it looked like it was rejecting VWAP. CELZ is halting up, so that might take some money flow. So staying small on NKGN because it's not my ideal entry of 260 yet. CELZ hot stock. So no bounce on APM so far. Okay, getting a bounce on NKGN, which is good. Still waiting for my ideal entries. LYT is going up. LYT money flow. So notice guys, notice there's a lot of stocks getting money flow today. LYT is getting a little bit of money flow. I'm gonna see if I can get a small ad on this NKGN in case it doesn't take the money flow. So I'm not gonna get myself into trouble with LYT. Got a little bit of an ad there, NKGN. So as LYT is taking the money flow guys, as LYT is taking the money flow, I'm focusing on NK, NKGN. What's this key support area around 208? NKGN is not even trading much volume. But now the reason why I'm interested in it is because CELZ is taking money, LYT is taking money. So there might be potential for this thing to fail is what I'm thinking. So I added a little bit more at 18. I'm about 30% size so far, small size. Small size for now. Okay, so we're now getting a bounce on NKGN. So as it gets closer to my ideal line, I can get a little bit more aggressive on it. So let me draw some lines as well. CERO is failing, but not really touching that. 220 fail on NKGN. So maybe I'll try to get an ad. So I got a little bit of an ad there on that death candle. Looks like a death candle for now, so I'm trying to add some more maybe. Got it. So as CELZ and LYT take money flow, I'm trying to focus on this side stock. 208 is a support, so I would need to see 208 break. But as you can see, there's a little bit of a death candle there, so I added on the death candle. I'm in about 40% size now. So 208, 204, 205. What's the next support area? So as two other stocks are taking the money flow today, LYT and CELZ, this has me feel that this stock NKGM might be forgotten. And if it's forgotten, hopefully we can make some money off it. So hopefully when CELZ and LYT open up, this will also go down as more people are taking money flow there. But let's see, so far pretty good average. Letting the trade work, letting the trade breathe a little bit. CERO is just failing. PHUN bounce, but I'm not really interested in attacking that. Tesla bounce day today for any long buys traders. AISP no bounce. Ideally look for a $2 washout on NKGN. IPA ideally towards 240s. So if we get 240s on IPA, that'd be nice. So waiting to see how LYT and CELZ open up. Hopefully they open up and continue to ramp. By them opening up and continuing to ramp, it should take money flow away from our stocks. Looking around guys, anything else moving? You guys see anything else moving? MEDS, good avoid on MEDS. Low volume too. NKG, what are your thoughts if it gets back to 224-ish? Would you add more or wait until the next line? If it gets back up that high, I would probably cover some and wait for higher. 
IPA, ideally 240, 250 is what I'm waiting for. M N M D M. I'm running out of space to put this shit. M N M D. Oh, nice. Yes. Keep going. IPA, I'm waiting for higher guys. I would rather be safe than sorry. I'd rather be safe than sorry. Covered some. 199 or two bucks, somewhere around there. Covered some more, 198. So this is a rather simple scalp on a broken stock. So, so far, good stock selection on the broken stock. I covered half into that dip just in case. So now what do I do guys? If it bounces back up towards this VWAP area, I'll be able to get another entry on it. But now, as you can see, technically, if I do everything right, this should still be a winning trade, right? It should still be a winning trade simply if I just stick to the process, right? So that's about 20 cents a share. 20 cents a share on a $2 stock is 10%. So a 10% return in 10 minutes. LYT open, I am not touching. CELZ, I am not touching. So are you guys understanding uh, the stock selection that I am having? I am focusing on the stocks that people forgot about, the stocks that people don't care about, and the stocks that have the most edge. The moment LYT, oh, covered more 91. So this is what happens when you ignore the hot stocks, guys. When you ignore the hot stocks, do you see how much easier trading can be? 188, covered more. And you know what, guys? 187, all out. So that's NKGN right there. Relatively simple trade. You guys understand that trade. Please tell me that trade makes sense. Pretty good, pretty good. Right now, guys, if nothing changes, if nothing changes, I'm probably gonna call it a day at 49.70. So right there, guys, a $5,000 trade. Doesn't really take much size, does not take much size. So I'm just gonna chill out for now and see if there's anything else.